All right, here with Gabe Rosado. Uh, Gabe, you know, like he was saying, disappointing night. Uh, you felt, as did most people, you came out on top. Um, you know, you had a little while, a couple hours to reflect on it. Anything change in your opinion? No, man, you know, I feel like, you know, we did what we had to do to be victorious, but like I said, good thing it happened on such a big stage where, you know, the fans were able to, you know, you know, decide that, you know, I won the fight. And, you know, the commentators even said it. So, you know, I'm disappointed that I didn't get the victory and I get to walk away with the title. But at the end of the day, everybody knows what truly really happens. Right? Let me ask you this. Yesterday, I, I didn't catch that. When he missed weight, did he try to give you a percentage of his? Yeah. Did he drop and he said, told him to go lose weight? Yeah, we said we don't need that money. We we'll don't lose that weight. And was that, that was part of your strategy anyway? Because even if he went for the hour and didn't lose the weight, you would have still could have taken a percentage. And, yeah, and we would have still fought. Right. But my thing is, don't lose that weight. You know what I'm saying? I don't need the money. Right. It's the weight and um, this fight, you know, honor the weight class. You know, um, I think I think if you, if you can't make the weight, man, you know, that's, that's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? You got to be professional. Do you think that um, him having to go back, you think that helped uh, helped you as far as our, well, hurt his performance? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But, um, he only had an hour, he did it in an hour. So he had enough time to be hydrated and whatever. Let me ask you this. Go. Best fighter in the one, man. Hey, he won, though. He won that fight, blood. And I'm from Flint, Michigan, man. Boy, get me out of Detroit, man. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it one because this shit happened to me. He won that fight. Andre, what do we got here? Andre Durrell chime in with it. That's everybody, man. Everybody. My man, Kid Chocolate. Birdo, all these dudes, man. My, my, my homie Danny Garcia, everybody, you know, they know who really won the fight. Yeah. Let me ask you this: um, being as this was so heavily, uh, so many uh, money team fighters on this card, did that kind of worry you when they announced it was a split decision? Were, at that point, were you a little worried that it might not go your way? I'm saying, kind of. When I heard the 97, 92, I was like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying, but um, you know, it's, hard, it's it's heartbreaking, man. But at the end of the day, man, the fans showed me so much love and support like it, it lifts me up all right and then uh just last thing for you you know you guys had a lot of animosity going to a lot of pushing a lot of shoving yeah, a lot of yelling and afterwards you had a lot of respect for each other it's just fight me right. he lost his brother i lost i lost my stepfather in training camp so you know r.i.p to them and we dedicate the fight to them all right and then just uh well one more question here what's up yeah just this last thing um you know you had the disappointment with triple g and then you get this disappointment with a fight you think you won i mean is, does it deter you at all or, or make you uh no, man, yourself? I, I got I got thick skin, man. I got thick skin, so it's it's not gonna make me go down, man. All right, thanks.